はい皆さんこんにちはレナです今日は名古屋城周辺で外国人を捕まってインタビューをしたいと思いますではやりましょう Please tell me your name My name is Fernando Hi Fernando, I'm Lena. Nice to meet you. Nice Where are you from? I'm from Brazil. Is it your first time in Japan? First time in Japan. Yeah? yeah. How long are you here for? I think it will be like one month and a half. Ooh, yeah. nice. Yeah. And how long has it been already? It's been, I think, two weeks. How have you been up to so far in the last two weeks? I started in Osaka. Mm -hmm. So I went to Nara, to Kyoto. It's pretty close. Yeah. And after that, I went to Hiroshima. Okay, how was that? Pretty nice. Yeah. Very impressive to see mm -hmm. all the nuclear bomb yeah. memorial in mm -hmm. the museum. Yes. Yeah, it's something that the world needs to be concerned because yes. we still have bombs out there. Yes. I also went to the island nearby mm -hmm. Hiroshima. Miyajima, red gate in the water. Yeah, I was there earlier, mm -hmm. so the water was not there. Mm -hmm. But when I went back by the end of the day, the, the war Mm -hmm. The sea level, good surprise to see oh, before both. and after. <laughs> yeah, cool. Down to Kagoshima and I Ooh. took a ferry to Yakushima. Which oh, okay, is, yeah. I've been oh. meaning to go there. We haven't been there yet. Really? Yeah. You have to. Yeah. yeah. I think it's the most beautiful forest I ever seen in my life. Totally different. It's totally green, actually. Mm -hmm. The, the yeah. moss grows in the, the stones, in the, the, the trunks of the, the trees, uh, everywhere. Very Sounds green, amazing. very dense forest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. I'm really glad that I decided to go there. Okay, oh. we need to go there. <laughs> yeah, I think, that is, I think it's a must go for, yeah. for Japan. And I'm actually surprised for the nature here in Japan. Because mm -hmm. I came here uh, thinking about the, the cities, uh, mm -hmm. the super system, the transport, the technology. Yeah. Yeah. But it's the nature is beautiful. Yeah. I'm enjoying so far a lot. I'm so happy you like it. Yeah. <laughs> what are your plans for the next month? Alpine Road somewhere. Yes, to the north, Alpine the, Road. Yeah, yeah, I will go there next. Okay. Also, obviously, the Mount Fuji. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Are you going to climb it or just watch it? I will try. <laughs> I hope I can do it. I, okay. I will try to, to climb it. Hey. Any favorite Japanese foods? Hiroshima, I ate a food that's like a pancake with... Okonomiyaki. Yeah. I Hiroshima never style. never remember the name. Yes. But, oh, this, I the, love it too. The so. thing is I'm vegetarian. Okay. So it's hard to find good options for veg, yes, veg foods. Is. But this okonomiyaki, you can opt to not put meat, yes. egg, cheese. And oh, no, sounds good. Very good. I'm getting hungry. Yeah, <laughs> I love the teriyaki sauce. Oh, yeah. Uh, so everything nice. mixed together. Well, very tasty. Yes. By the way, why did you decide to come to Japan in the first place? Mm, oh. I'm actually traveling through Asia. Japan is a big country, uh, not in size of the land, but uh, in culturally, yeah. historically. Yeah. And I'm always curious uh, because of that. And also influenced by animes. Mm -hmm. I've cool. been always watching since my childhood. Mm -hmm. Nice. A uh, way to treat people. They are very polite. I feel very welcome. Mm -hmm. It's been amazing so far because even though it's a very populated country, Everything so organized, so clean. Yes, and everything that, works. <laughs> everything works. I never seen a traffic jam here. Yeah, crazy. true as well. Yeah. Even in Tokyo, you kind of get through the city by car very easily. Yeah, I was quite Maybe. surprised. Oh yeah, you said you kind of grew up with anime and things like that. So you kind of had an idea of what Japan different from what you imagined. Uh, interesting because I. I see the animes with the original language in Japanese. Mm -hmm. okay. so it was interesting to, to listen uh, the Japanese sounds uh -huh. just oh. like the animes. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, some house and some streets. I'm walking the main avenue and I look right to some street and I see some house. Wow, this looks like an Inanami. anime scene, you know. <laughs> There's some lots of similarities and it's yeah. interesting to be here. Yeah, definitely. And, yeah. Did you have any kind of culture shock? I was positively surprised uh, how uh, polite and helpful the Japanese are. Yeah. Sometimes I'm just kind of looking my phone showing that I'm a little bit lost and someone <laughs> comes and help me. Yeah. I thought that the English would be 
more spoken here, but I understand it's totally different <laughs> language. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But uh, nowadays, with translators and yes. everything, we can communicate. Mm -hmm. and, and yeah. So. Did you just come from Nagoya Castle? Yeah. Did you like it? Wow, yeah, it's yeah. quite impressive. Uh, there's some ca a lot of castles around, but yes. I, I like it how the shapes and the green uh, yeah. in the top. Yeah, super it's, nice. It's charming. Thank you so much for okay. your time. Nice, thank you. Okay, so first, please tell me your name. Uh, my name is North. North? Yes. Where are you from? I'm from Canada. Where in Canada? Uh, Calgary. Where is Calgary? Uh, in Alberta. Okay, uh, do you know where that is? Yes. Okay, yes. <laughs> he's been to Canada. I haven't. It's near Banff. Some people know. Yes. Some people okay. know that. Famous for snowboard. Ah, okay, that's yes. why he would know. Yeah, I'm a, bit, I'm a big skier, so. Okay, okay cool. Yeah. First time to Japan? Uh, second oh. time actually. Okay. I was here in February because I won a concert ticket to go see uh, Baby Metal. Yeah, um, I heard about that one. <laughs> yeah, so I scheduled it for ten days. Uh -huh. It was so good. I told Air Canada I need another seven. And then six months later, I'm back. So oh, wow. clearly, clearly, I enjoyed it. What exactly did you enjoy about it? Um, I think it's just a slight step up from everything in Canada. The food's yeah. better, transportation's <laughs> better. Um, I spent a lot of time in the Kansai region, so like the people were nicer. Yes, they are. Um, yeah, just like super friendly. You know, like I was in Tokyo Station, and I was like, uh, "Hey, where is this platform?" And I was expecting just to get pointed. Yeah. And they walked with me like 15, 20 minutes across the way. <laughs> yeah. So it's like. Yeah. yeah, just like super nice. Yes. Um, the food's really good. Like yeah. I, I just really think everything's a slight step up. And like I said, I'm a skier. They have that here. Like there's nothing. So when you were in February, did you go skiing? I didn't actually. Okay. Um, next time. Next time, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is not the season to do it. No, no, it's uh, very hot. I'm not used well, to. Well, actually, he goes snowboarding even in summer every weekend. So there are places where you could go skiing if you really okay. wanted to. I gotta talk but to you. No now. snow though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> First reason you came to Japan was because of the tickets for Baby Metal. Were you interested in Japan before that? Not really. Uh, I had a bunch of friends that were like interested in like anime and like my sister's into manga and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but no, I didn't really like. I love sushi. That was my favorite food beforehand. Okay. But other than that, I never really had a reason to come here. Uh, I was actually learning Korean at the time. Okay. Um, and then that kind of all went out the window when I came here and, and loved it so much. Yeah. Okay, so. cool. Did you learn some Japanese? I only know how to be polite um, okay. and ask for like very basic things uh -huh. at a restaurant. Okay, um, but that's great. Can yeah. you tell us something? Uh, Okibizu kutasai. <laughs> Summer is really important. I drink a lot of water, so <laughs> yeah. that was a good one. And just, you know, onegaishimasu, arigato gozaimasu. Just obviously kita is like the only kanji I can read because that's, that's like Your name? name. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's so, nice. Um, cool. But I, I'm still struggling learning the, the ABCs of Japan. So the Japanese yeah. people, they're usually really happy even if you just, you know, know like two di phrases or whatever, but if you're trying, they're really interested in, you know, helping out. And that makes sense, yeah. yeah. If somebody came to Canada and didn't know English, you know, it, I, you know, <laughs> I, I think it's like the same thing. Yeah. I look at it from their perspective, it's yeah. like, you gotta, you gotta know the language. Yeah. So. How long will you be here for? Uh, it's kind of a tricky question because um, I'm on the three month visa so yes. that's the easy answer is three okay. months mm -hmm. and I've already been here like three weeks okay. um, but the long answer would be I want to stay here more permanently that was okay. kind of the point of this trip so okay. um, I'm finishing my Canadian finance degree online mm -hmm. so I'll be doing that starting September like very soon find a job uh, teaching English here then yeah. I'll stay pretty permanently okay I can't get a visa then I'll go to Australia, do a one-year uh, work holiday visa, and then come back on the language learning back to Japan. Okay, big plan. I wish you all the best for that. Thank you. And I'm sure like they're looking for English teachers everywhere all the time here in Japan. So mm -hmm. yeah. have a good chance to get that as yeah. a Canadian native speaker. So I hope that will go well for you. Thank you. You said you've been here three weeks. What have you done during those three weeks? I mostly spent it in Osaka, mm -hmm. uh, just because I like when I was here for the 17 days, I was pretty much in a different city, different hostel uh, every night. So I wanted to see if I enjoyed like actually living in Japan or if I just enjoyed traveling. Mm -hmm. um, so I definitely do. Like the three weeks kind of taught me that I do enjoy everything that you can do in Osaka. I've done. Um, I went to Kyoto. 
Mm -hmm. uh, went to Shirahama Beach and Wakayama. Yeah, that one is uh, nice. Kyosan yesterday, uh -huh. uh, and now I'm in Nagoya. So okay. first uh, time in Nagoya. Friends. Yes, meeting some friends I met last time. Okay, yeah. cool. Uh, oh. Tomorrow, but the next day I'm hiking Mount Fuji. So. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully the heat doesn't kill me. I pick the. It's going to get cooler the, when you go up. It's exactly. going to be cooler. <laughs> I miss I miss the island surfing after. In, oh, you're going uh, surfing as well in Yokohama. I met a friend. Okay. Uh, he was like, I'll teach you how to surf. So come stay at my place cool. for two weeks. So that I mean, sounds that, like a good plan. Uh, just for so many offers from friendly people. Last mm -hmm. trip that I couldn't stay away. So, awesome. Yeah. That's great. So what has been your favorite experience so far? It would probably be, I met someone at uh, Matsuyama mm -hmm. uh, at the Dogo Onsen, invited me on a road trip the next day, which like, wow, that's cool. super <laughs> nice, and just like drove me to um, Yamaguchi, Yamaguchi. Oh, Yamaguchi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't think that I was going to experience like driving in Japan, so that was uh -huh. really cool, kind of like going through the mountains and over all the bridges. Yeah, yeah another is. way also to experience the country, exactly. like by Something car, like, yeah. not touristy, right? Yeah, so kind of and doing totally that. out of the blue, like I didn't expect it. <laughs> it was like the hostel guy recommended me to eat at this place. It was actually my favorite meal of the trip. Oh cool, what did you um, eat? It's whatever their local dish is. <laughs> it was sea bass. I'm, okay, not, cool. I'm not too sure. It was kind of a soup and rice and it was so good. Uh, okay. I would definitely want to go back. Was there some kind of culture shock you had or something that you expected? The biggest thing back in February was like the lack of hand washing and like the lack of soaps. <laughs> and like, paper towels. Yeah, paper <laughs> towels, exactly. And like all the hand dryers were out because of Corona. <laughs> That was the biggest hand shock. It's like everybody's wearing a mask, everybody's wearing a mask, but then like people are leaving the washroom without using soap or washing yeah, their hands. Yeah, it's so weird. That was that was the biggest thing for me. True. Um, so you said another culture shock you had? Everybody uses QR codes for social media. Never seen that before. What do you use for a, like a communication app in oh, Canada? Well, like people use Instagram, but like okay. I would just like hand my phone to people and they wouldn't know what to do. And then they'd pull up the QR code and be like, <laughs> like this is what we do here, get with the program. Yeah. yeah. I feel yeah. like in general, QR codes are used so much more here in Japan than mm. in other countries. Like for everything, there's QR codes on everything. Yeah, and like the pay, -pay thing, I haven't got into that. Oh, yeah. but that <laughs> kind of I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah. I haven't figured that one out either. It's like gotcha. Pepe is everywhere, but yeah, you can only do it if you live here. And I guess the lack of garbage cans too. Oh yeah. <laughs> like like I, got, I got some garbage in, yeah. my, in my bag. But that doesn't yeah. go away ever. So yeah, I, I, <laughs> it's like it I've keeps story, being a yeah. problem. Yeah, so I went to a couple bars in Osaka and yeah. just like you can just smoke. So it's like you walk in, it's just yeah. hazy. Yeah. Um, so those are probably the two culture shocks for me everything else very normal like um i don't know in canada the view of japan is just like all anime kind of stuff and like yeah. the weirder like made cafes and like the weirder well, stuff they do happen they do, yeah they're, they're here but like it's not that's not japan you, you did say your favorite food was sushi even before coming to japan right yes yeah so after trying the real sushi here <laughs> definitely ruined the sushi back in in calgary um, right yeah, like I wasn't a big fan of tuna before coming here, but oh my goodness, the tuna is amazing here. Yeah. And like the salmon's better, everything's better. When I went back, I was like, oh, this like tastes like plastic. So yeah. on top of that, even the family chicky at like whatever, 7-Eleven or Family Mart is better than like the restaurant chicken. <laughs> so absurd to me that like, you know, the 7-Eleven food in Canada, you don't want to touch. Okay, thank you so Appreciate much it. for your time. Awesome, thank cool. you, it was great. Please tell me your name. My name is Philip. Hi Philip, and where are you from? I'm from Germany. Where in Germany? Uh, from Bayreuth. Is it your first time in Japan? It is not. How many times have you been here? Once before in 2019. Okay, so just before Corona yes. and now after Corona. I got lucky, yeah. Okay. Why did you decide to come to Japan? The original reason is that the Pokemon World Championships happened in Yokohama. Yeah, you're and the second person to tell you who told me that they went there. Yeah, that's one of the main reasons and then uh, I wanted to explore a little bit more uh, mm -hmm. of the cities that I didn't explore before, like mm -hmm. Nagoya. Very cool, I'm so yeah. happy that you're here. So your interest was Pokemon from the beginning or Yeah, anime? I mean, Japanese culture, I love the food. Mm -hmm. I love the food so much. It's so good. Pokemon as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. So uh, because of Pokemon and other things, I'm assuming you had some kind of image of Japan before coming here? Was well, I mean, as I said, I've been here before. 
I knew what to expect. I was interested to see any differences after COVID, mm -hmm. but honestly, I don't really see that much. A lot more people walking around with masks still, but yeah, yeah I'm just glad that uh, I don't have to do much about COVID anymore. Yeah. With a mask, <laughs> I, would, I would have a problem. Yes, it's very uh, hot today, especially, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, how long have you been here? I've been here uh, one and a half weeks now. And how long will you stay after Until this? the 28th. What have you done so far? Where have you been? Uh, well, I got up a little late today, so hopped on the Shinkansen from Tokyo. I only went to a few card shops because mm -hmm. I'm looking for Pokemon stuff. Yes. And uh, I did the castle, but I'm a little late, so I couldn't go into the castle. Oh, that's too bad. Um, and now I'm doing another shrine and then probably getting dinner and then going back to Tokyo. Just oh, you're already going back to Tokyo oh, today? Oh, yeah, I'm just, I'm wow. just um, <laughs> making the most of my rail pass. Okay, yeah. yeah. You said you love the food here in Japan. What's yes. your favorite foods? Uh, definitely curry. Ah, I, I think okay. that's also my most surprised one from before I came the first time. Mm -hmm. I had no idea about curry. Well, I knew that it existed, but I didn't think much of it. Mm -hmm. So, and then when I went to, I went to Coco, I was blown away. <laughs> really? I, I love that. I thought I would go for ramen every day. Yeah. But it's just a little bit too heavy, you can't do it every day. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but fried foods in general, they do it really, really well. Yes. I still love ramen, mm -hmm. I do, and I really love gyoza as well. Yeah, so you kind of, a lot of Japanese foods you I, like. Oh, yeah, yeah. great. Yeah. What has been your favorite experience here in Japan? Doesn't have to be this trip, can be last trip. I oh. probably have to say it was the World Championships. Yeah. I was meeting so many people from around the world. I mean, I always, always travel to uh, Pokemon tournaments mm -hmm. throughout Europe. Mm -hmm. And um, Did you participate in this one or were you no, a spectator? unfortunately not, no. My job doesn't really allow me to play in too many tournaments because okay. I work on a lot of weekends. Okay. So I can't get a, that much time off. M m maybe still the food. Yeah. The food is yeah. just so I good. I get that. Like, I, yeah. I so agree. <laughs> yeah. Have you picked up some Japanese on the way? I mean, I, I do know quite a few words, yeah. but I don't really know any grammar. Uh -huh. I mean, obviously the most important word is sumimasen. Okay, right? that's, you can, that's good. You can get yeah. by with, every, with that. <laughs> what has been your impression of Japan before coming here and after coming here? Did you have any culture shocks? Yeah, so it's insane how people like to queue for everything. <laughs> um, I feel like especially for us as Germans, it's like, uh, it's not a thing. <laughs> even for the buses and stuff. Ah, well, yeah. I mean, it's just too many people and not enough stuff to do. I mean, everyone, like yeah, especially like Pokemon centers, pop-up cafes and mm -hmm. all those limited ingestion stuff. And you need to anyways. make reservations far in advance or you yeah. queue for three hours, yeah, right? Pretty much. Basically, yeah. And then, well, culture shocks, I don't know, uh, not that much. I do, well, I do consume so much media on YouTube and stuff about Japan, so I knew what to expect pretty okay. much. What do you think about the Japanese people? But they're very polite, yeah. which is great. Did you have any memorable interactions with any Japanese people? And uh, not too much. No, okay. not really. I'm I'm pretty I'm a little shy myself, yeah, so okay. I I don't really go. I actually like that about the Japanese people that they also keep to themselves. They have a lot of stuff for single visitors. Yes, yeah. you go ramen by yourself. Right, like each other. <laughs> yeah. 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 Thank you so much for your time. Of course. Hi, Mina san. I interviewed and すごい面白い話いっぱいありましたね。何か追加で聞きたいなということはあれば、コメントで教えてください。また、この動画が人気があれば、次の版も作ろうと思ってます。ちなみに、1個前に出してたインタビュー系の動画も見ましたか？まだ